scream and call for help. When I say go ahead, and keep screaming and calling for help. Help! Scream! Understand? Yes. Bridgie! Give your men a rest. Oh, that's it! Thank you! Go ahead. Help! Please help! Hurry! Hey! Hurry. It sounds like a light goes for it. Help! Please help! Come on, Jerry, let's find out. I'll tell you what we'll do. So this. <laughs> Ayuga, the arms. What's the meaning of this? What are you going to do with us? <laughs> help! Please help! Hurry! That must be the place. Come on, let's go. Inside. I thought sure that voice came from here. This is a haunted hut! I'm going to get out of here. Bruce! Where does that light come from? There's nothing to do with that girl's cry for help. I'm going to get out of here. No, we've got to find that girl. Come on. giants Andrew spoke about. Look, there's more of them. Giants, no giants. We've got to find that girl. Looks like the subway, don't it? Yes, it does. Bruce, another door. Come in. Gentlemen, this is indeed a pleasure. May I ask who you are? My name is Zola. I'm the master of this place. Where are we? You're in the lost city of the Ligurians. As you may know, the Ligurians were master scientists. I am the last of that race, carrying on the electromagnetic traditions of my people. Jerry, I'm right. We found it. What do you mean by that statement? 
Your electrical experiments have been causing disasters throughout the entire world. And then I'm beginning to accomplish my purpose. You speak as one who is familiar with electricity also. Are you... I'm an electrical engineer. Your name? Bruce Gordon. Jerry Delaney. Perhaps you'd like to look over some of my electrical equipment. Uh, yes, if we may. Avalon, have one of my slaves show these gentlemen the city. Yes, Master Zolak. Who go? Show these gentlemen around. Mm -hmm. I want that detector he's invented. And I'll use his knowledge for my own purposes. But he is not like Manuel. There isn't a daughter to hold over his head as a threat, Master Zolak. He'll do as I say, or I'll put him in the enlarging machine. I'll control his brain, even if I have to make him a white giant. Are you the girl that cried for help? Yes, but I was tricked into doing it. We can't stay here. You come with me while we have a chance. Yes, but how about that giant? Oh, he'll keep going. You follow me. Come. This is my father's laboratory. Bruce Gordon, Dr. Manus, my assistant, Jerry Delaney. Manus, in regard to those two strangers that just entered your laboratory, the man Gordon is an electrical engineer. How does he know we're here? Television. He's invented a magnetic detector. Is there no way to shut that off? I have short circuited him. Quick now, while we have a little privacy. Could he hear as well as see us? Oh, he has television so highly developed that he can see and hear anything within the radius of a thousand miles. Then he saw us at the trading post, operating our detector. Yes. How do you know he is not looking at us now? Oh, I secretly invented this instrument to shut him off temporarily. I was kicked and delivering them here. We must save them. Forget that. We'll help each other. Doctor, we came here to determine what has been causing these electromagnetic disasters throughout the world. And now that you have found out, we're going to stop it. Yes. Yes. We must. Master, here are the two men we captured in the jungle. Bring them in. Master Zola. Master, what shall we do with them? What do we always do with spies? We're not, not spies. spies. What brought you to Africa? Find the source of certain electrical disturbances and correct them. A very ambitious undertaking. 
Your information interests me. Gentlemen, sit down. Doctor, why haven't you and your daughter tried to escape from Zolok's power before? Only one man ever escaped from Zolok. This place is guarded by a hundred different death-dealing devices. Oh, if you can help us to get away, we'll be grateful to you for life. Where is this amplifier you told me about? In the powerhouse attached to one of the dynamos. Take me to it. It must be destroyed. Oh, this black giant has instructions to keep me in this room. I'll take you. He, he, he won't bother me. You would risk this danger? Of course. I'd do anything to get away from here. What if Zolak discovers it through his television? Uh, my control will take care of that. Jerry, you stay here with Dr. Manus. We'll be right back. Hmm. If Gordon and his assistant are all you say they are, I'd better let them go no further. Avalon, join Gorzo and have the enlarging machine made ready. Yes, Master. They can match their wits against Zorak, the master of the world. Magnus! Magnus! What have you done to my television machine? Magnus! And you know better than they are. You're mistaken. We're not friends of Bruce Gordon. That's the truth, Zorak. I swear to it. Fire! Get out! Gordon and his assistant. Gorza, bring Mathis and Natchez to the control room. This is the new freezing gun I secretly invented. It freezes every range of etheric vibration. Life. Power. Life itself. It's quite a contraption, isn't it? Who go? Come. Dr. Manius, the master wants you. Well, he's not going. Who go? Seize him! <laughs> Oh, 
Do you realize what'll happen when Zolak hears of this? You may be Zolak's slave, but I'm not. Take him. Take him away. Gorzo. Yes, Master. Take Boyle to his quarters. Boyle. Come. Yes. Zolak, how dare you treat that boy in this manner? I'm Master here. Go to your control. Hugo, go to your post outside the door. Boom. The young electrical wizard. Thought you were smart enough to fool me, eh? Zulak, my efforts are for the good of humanity. And I'm not going to stop until I destroy this place. I'm going to do a little destroying myself. When I get through with you and the ivory hunter there, you'll be slaves of my will. Living dead men. Give it up, Rose. I'll be right with you. Give me that old haymaker. Oh. Come on, Bernie. That's the Power. Oh. 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 